Rocky. No más si Rocky o It wasn't cold enough in Baku, so we had to get ice cream. <laughs> Kaleo, what are you guys doing? Oh my goodness! Tignan mo nga naman tong mga asong to. Good morning, this is our little Airbnb for the next couple of days. Kaleo, show them. Show them the yard. Let's go, show them the yard. Come on. Show everybody the uh, yard. Wow, there's a yard. You guys don't get to experience yards. Huh. Well, there's a yard. Ito sa buong SM full parking na. Ano yung pinakamalapit na sunod? Ano yung pinakamalapit na sunod? Na parking? Sa Burnham. Burnham na? Well, looks like we're gonna have to look for a different grocery store. Kaleo, wait lang. Be patient. It's very Let's see. Just <laughs> One of the hardest things to do here in this town that we're in, which is Baguio, is find parking. My gosh. So Mike and I got down and Mori just decided to drive around. Nakana should have parking. And the parallel park. You should be proud. Oh, look, look, doggies. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's the OG. Dirty ice cream. Why do they call this dirty ice cream? No, because it's, because it's made benta in the street. What? Because it's benta in the street. It's made benta in the street. Yeah, you know. <laughs> dirty ice cream. <laughs> Doesn't look as appetizing. 
<laughs> but <laughs> but it's my version of carbonara. Sibo chorizo carbonara. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Washing the dishes? And it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace. Better help. No one cares about yesterday. Last day, it's Christmas Eve, yes. <laughs> and we're gonna do our one last. Ito, atat na atat he wants to get out of it. And this boy is not looking forward to traveling four hours again. Good morning, everybody.
It's okay, buddy. You'll be fine there. Don't worry, guys. You can see him on the other side. Double-sided. Look at the packing skills. Gosh. Hi, Papa. Introduce yourself. Let me introduce myself. My name is Dave. You gotta wrap it, though. You know, like a Christmas wrap? Yeah, wrap the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, people. Merry Did you enjoy our, uh, no, our little vacation vlog? Merry Christmas. Do you hear that? Hey, you have to... That's Khalil snow snoring. <laughs> I have to show you guys what we're looking at. This is my phone, obviously. <laughs> but we will cut to this footage so that y'all can see. Uh, here. That's what you're hearing. And that's what we're seeing. Our boys are on the couch. We didn't put them there. They're just... There, then that's us. Hello. I spent an hour walking them this morning so that they would be tired and not running around. Well, we're doing our little Christmas tradition thing. Yeah. Which, this is our little Christmas this tradition. This is our little Christmas tradition. Someone who gave Lego. us our first Lego set. One of my Moenatics. And basically, one of my um, supporters, he is from Japan. He is not Japanese. <laughs> Kuya Edu gave us our first Lego set and we had it around the time now we got married, but we didn't announce it yet. So we had our first Christmas then. We the, put that together on Christmas Day. We're like, what, two days like, late right now? The tradition is that we have Lego to piece together, not yes. specifically on Ano, because we're busy people. <laughs> this is Koa showing you his toy. <laughs> come on, come here. He wants to wait. Play. Wait, can you guys see it? Can you catch? I saw ni mama magtapon. So, two years ago, it was the, uh, the tree, the bonsai tree that you can turn into a cherry blossom tree. Last year was the string quartet or the jazz, yes. jazz quartet. The jazz quartet. Jazz quartet. By the way, this is not an ad. <laughs> but, Lego, if you would want, okay, lang din naman. <laughs> okay, we put it back in my hand. So, I want to show the people I can catch it. Ready? Go. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. You can keep going. Go dito ba? Ready? Ready? Ay. Mama! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Oh, sige, sige. Si Papa oh, na lang. Cool, cool. Give, give, give. Good boy. Hey, okay. wait, wait. No, no, no. They can see him. I can see him. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! Anyways, how we came upon this particular one. We walked into the Lego store and both Morissa and I gravitated towards this one right away without saying anything. Yeah, so I think it was Zeno. And we literally chose this within what, like 10 seconds of entering the store? <laughs> and so, this was the only and last one that they had. Yeah, that was the last one. So, the reveal. Yay! Come on, yes. Cut to Koa reacting because we are not giving him attention. <laughs> Look. Oh, uh, so they we'll play, play later, okay, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, baby. Alright, so there's a lot of tiny pieces. Man. Didn't we do a vlog for this also last time? Or a time lapse? We did a time lapse. Uh, which pero hindi siya which we do have a time lapse. We are, we're also doing a time lapse, so you guys will see. Oh, by the way, shout out to Kuya Marty who gave me this, I know, this underdog mug. Wow, this that is a heavy good. manual. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look! This is how big it's gonna be, real size. I'm excited. We're All gonna right. need a whole wall of Lego because we're gonna be married a long time. <laughs> we're gonna need a house. 
You do need a hose. <laughs> By the way, guys, hope you like the vlog. That was our little doggy vlog. Ah, doggy Bob. vlog, vacation, birthday. Happy birthday, Papa! Thank you. We also just want to give a huge shout out to our um, co partners and underdog, Miguel Jimenez and Jason Max, who are also December babies. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, guys. Okay. Headless Walt. Oh, and it's back to back. It depends what what facial expression you want to give him. What is this? Where's the rest of his body? Maybe it's here. Where's the rest of his body? Is this a lightsaber? That is him. Here, it's his bullpen. First one down. Yay! Look, we're gonna show them Walt in its entirety. Alright, can you guys see him? So, anyways, hope you guys had an awesome Christmas, Christmas. season. And a great year! Look at our yeah. little window in the We book. had a pretty intense year. Lots of changes. Was it this year when you became underdog fully yeah wow. I also, I also it was talked, just this year i also talked about it in the italy vlogs specifically in the um rome vlog it has been wild but and a lot of learning i think which is definitely what's, important. what's the biggest thing that you learned this year basically what i learned is that success comes with hard work and there's a reason why yan specifically um uh, ko. And this also doesn't mean that I'm already successful right now. Well, it also depends on what success is to you. Amen. But before, kasi, in the first decade of my career, a lot of it was, I guess, syempre, it also came with hard work naman, but not personally from me. It came from um, my team and my management. And it's, it was it's a safe different version of hard work, I think, because you still had to do. Yeah, but you like... You still had to perform and you still had to yeah, the, do all the physical work. There was a lot yes. of people doing the, the mental... The thinking and the everything. Yeah, And exactly. so, parang, I guess to, I guess what I'm trying to say is before, kasi, syempre, mas parang a lot of the opportunities were, I guess, handed to me. And I always acknowledge that I'm super grateful and very, um, yeah, very privileged to have had that kind of... Um, Opportunity. Opportunities and career before. Mm-hmm. But especially during the pandemic and just learning about so many things shifted. No? So many things, talaga. And so, parang that's why what I'm saying is, parang success comes with hard work, talaga. Because ngayon in my in where I am right now with my career, it's more I'm doing a lot of the thinking and um, a lot of the strategizing, and we're being a lot more proactive um, when it comes to doing things and strategizing the releases of our music. Um, even the vlogs and everything. Yeah, dati kasi yun. Maraming nangyayari na ano lang. Like, binigay lang sa akin. I just, I basically just sing. Which is great. But if you want growth, you gotta step out of your comfort zone. So yun yun. That was the point. Yun pala yun. <laughs> what did you learn this year? What did I learn is get comfortable in the not so comfortable zone. <laughs> Yep. Get used to being uncomfortable because that's where all the growth happens. Mm-mm. Parang ganun din yaka. Yeah. I'm just weirding it very weirdly. What were some of the highlights for you for this year? Italy! Yeah! Me too. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I also really enjoyed it. It was it was fun. Do you guys also know why? I enjoyed it. Shepra hindi, so sasabihin ko pa lang. <laughs> <laughs> My travel, top one travel destination has always been Italy. And even before Dave and I got back together again. Nung before pa lang. We would always talk about going to Italy together. And then, we broke up. And she went to Italy. Well. <laughs> went to Italy. Oy, work naman yun. Hello. I didn't have to think about that trip. I just <laughs> arrived. <laughs> it finally happened for us this year. And we were able to really travel. Na, and first time ko yun na mag-invest in a trip. A lot kasi of my personal travels, or my travels per se, in the last decade has been more work related and then syempre may mga one to two days na pahinga and then nakakaikot kami that was like a good two weeks in italy and we sick sick four cities in two weeks 
first time yun na wala talagang work and we're really just traveling and I loved it. Ako din kasi yung tipong tao na I like I like going out. Sure, I like also staying at home and just being chill. I I think I'm the kind of person I can't last two days staying in the house. Like mm-hmm. just happier outside. Dave is the total opposite. Na he also I'm, loves traveling, I'm pero mas cool. yeah. And <laughs> yun yah the reason why you also said na Dave is Koa is. Ko is more of a homebody. He doesn't like to travel because he also gets car sick. Um, <laughs> and me and Kalei are the same. If I want to go, I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, after I've been out like three days in a row, he needs a break. I'm gonna go crazy if I have to go out. Whoa! Look. <laughs> oh, is that? That's what, that what it is? is. I think so. Oh wow! I didn't I realize. That. It's a film slate. Okay, let me get started with this. Action. What was like a challenge for you this year? Oh, holy night! Grabe ko naman. You did great, babe. I uh, know, like yeah, because good thing they gave it to me early, and guys, literally that was a challenge. You know what? A, what's a challenge? Picking up these small pieces with my with my nails. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> okay, tell them more more about the favorite Christmas special. So, anyways, I just said yes. It's not then, a bad thing. And then when I realized the song that they chose for Mori and I, I went into panic mode. I'm on panic mode every December because people always request me the same song but a <laughs> way harder version. I mean, we had to go like one. One step down from the original key because the original key of is that just version. So freaking high, man. If you guys want to know what version it is, it is um, just look for Tommy Prophet. I think he's the one who produced that. But it's with two singers also. Do it din talaga yun, and it really jumps. It really jumps. Um, from it's insane. It's a, it's an insane version. And Shepard, like singing that with Morissette. The standards are very, very high. No, no, no. You know what's crazy? It's like, I guess it's safe to say, na shepre, like, I've been singing that song kasi every Christmas season for so long before. And like, I kind of don't want to do it anymore, guys, because like, it just takes a toll not just on my voice, but on my anxiety as well. <laughs> I don't want to have to go through all of that again. I mean, it's still there. It's just that I don't. I don't feel the need to do it anymore out of pressure. So I think that's that. one thing. Now that we're on this topic, that's one thing that people don't understand. I think for singers, is that there are, especially nowadays, in the state of everybody is more aware of like mental health. Mm-hmm. Like even companies have like a mental health day. It's more like in the forefront now. It's really an issue that everyone is trying to. Papa, can you put this? My nails cannot. <laughs> where where does this go? Needles at the eyes. Everyone is more aware now that oh okay like some people struggle with mental issues and. Chapa, um, lang, hindi lang trying to be like healthy like. People don't post about it. Chapa, yeah. But, but people go through it in reality, and I go through it I'm just not, as much as you guys probably yeah. also. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that for for singers and performers, and like being like me personally, being around Maurice since we've been married, and observing her and being able to see like what she goes through before a performance, there are songs that really uh-huh. will give you anxiety. And you get stressed and you get traumatized because there's certain songs that are just really, really hard to sing. Shepard, it's it's not this. It's not the song. I love Oh Holy Night. I love what it stands for. But I love the the message of the song. But you know, like for me, it's it's the version. And I mean, there I have seen versions of the same version. <laughs> I have seen renditions. Okay, let's specify Mariah Carey version. Na hindi na ba niya so fino voice nila? Edi okay, pero I mean it's also not that easy to just hit that note ng ganon ganon lang, de ba? Yeah. So parang guys, I just wanna sing in peace. No, this <laughs> is especially for a song like that and what it stands for. Um, and it's great that Mariah has that version. Na, Literally, not everyone can sing. I guess I'm just. I what I'm trying to say is, okay, nagawa ko na. 
okay na ako. Yeah. Diba? I've done, I've sung it not just one year, not just in one year, but I've sung it like probably three to four years. I did it every year. Yeah. You guys can probably even see it on YouTube this year. I did it this year. I did it this year. I did it this year. I did it. So, but I'm okay na ako. I would still love to sing that song and not be pressured to, I guess, whistle or like hit the high notes and just sing it for what it is, which is just a really beautiful song. There's those songs oh. that like you can sing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. But then there's those songs where you perform it once or twice or just a couple of times in a year and then that should be enough because they're just really, really difficult songs to sing. Ito, I will tell you guys a little story. I forget what time it was this past year. Mori basically lost her voice. And so we had to go to the doctor and... Doctor got mad. And the doctor basically scolded her. And this is Maury's ENT. My, yeah, my your ENT. ENT. My long time ENT. And he said, you need to stop singing all of the super high and challenging songs if you want your voice to last. There's certain songs like, example, Gusto ko nang bumitao. There's so many times this year when people would get annoyed and frustrated that oh how come Mori didn't sing it in her show this and that well because it's a really challenging song to sing <laughs> and if she would sing that in every single show she would lose her voice will die <laughs> shut up <laughs> sorry commercial break look oh look what okay. the it's not a line come on I'll like, figure this out and you continue what am I talking what are you talking about Yes, yeah, so I've yeah, if you want to keep singing you have to stop like and he even gave to this resort na parang, and I really don't do it normally. Sabi niya na, if you wanna keep singing songs, babaan mo na lang yung key. Like, but I, I don't do that. And so, I guess what we're doing na lang na right now is, okay, let's just try to make songs na, they still have those high notes, but not like, OA and overkill. Yeah. I guess it's just, I know, it's just like the Philippine culture na, you you always have to sing it a certain way, and if you don't, madaya ka or whatever. Madaya ka. I don't understand because a lot of the Filipino Filipino, <laughs> a lot of you guys or us, de ba? Tayo mga nanonood ng mga concerts. You guys patronize a lot of the foreign acts. And di naman sila ganun bumirit. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of them also lip sync, and a lot of them also do other things to protect themselves and protect their voice. And yet, pag Pinoy yung magta try na gumawa ng ganun, parang madaya. It's like, bakit? <laughs> diba? I think it is a universal goal of all singers that they just want to protect their voice and take care of their voice because they want to keep singing. They want to keep doing what they're doing. Occasionally, they'll try to be mayabang and hit whatever notes, but not all the time. Uh, and I have also, you know, I've also gone through that stage na parang because nga people expect so much from me when sometimes I just want to sing and use my voice in other ways. Parang... Nakaka mas mabat ako ma, ngayon mas madali ako na na what's the term burnout kasi wala hindi na ako nag enjoy parang I'm just I'm just singing na lang for for the heck of it but it's not something na parang I genuinely enjoy anymore so I've gone through stages like that especially in the last couple of um, years at the end of the day I I really do still love singing and music it's just a matter of balancing it out and i guess naman i've also had that fair share of hustling talaga yeah na work and work and i didn't mind because i i really did do that for a whole decade of dere derecho and look what it cost me i had to cancel i had months of not singing and and not talking and not being able to provide for my family at that time and um, all because I was overusing my voice. I think one of the worst things for singers is when you lose your voice and then you can't sing. When it's something that you really love to do. And so then when that happens, then depression sets in and anxiety sets in and doubts set in. About, oh no, like, will I be able to continue singing the way that I do and this and that and so... I've had a lot of that. When your favorite singer isn't able <laughs> to perform those really, really, really hard songs every single show, 
okay ang mainis sa kanila because they're also just protecting themselves because they also want to sing for a long time. One of my favorite things is when we're able to be in the studio and I'm recording her vocals. And so I want her to protect her voice so that we can continue to make music like that because if she loses her voice, then you guys don't have any more music and then I can't listen to her sing anymore. I mean, I'm and still gonna be singing be a here. Very sad day. I'm still gonna be singing here, babe. No, like, but better, like, what if, what if, Deba, you you force yourself to sing all the hard songs all the time, and then it gets to the point where you can't even sing around the house. Mm. Then, Daddy, I'm gonna be. Then we're life. stuck with the Beagles howling all the time. <laughs> Is that wrong? <laughs> I mean. Is that wrong? I still want to hear you sing though, <laughs> and do it with the beagles. <laughs> <laughs> and do it with the beagles. Yun lang, that's all. That's our little rant for the day. Thanks for watching. Charot. But I think I think that's I been one of like the biggest challenges. Challenges and 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 mindsets to try and and switch. My example for that is like an athlete. Every athlete, no matter what sport, has highlight reels, and usually the highlight reels are some of the most skilled and difficult things that athletes can do. Like example, Michael Jordan, or, or Kobe Bryant, or LeBron James, or whoever your favorite basketball player is. You compile a one minute highlight reel of all of the most incredible things that they've ever done in their career, Deba. Which you guys do all the time with me. You compile and it into a one, two minute video. But a game, is 48 minutes, sometimes more. And they're not dunking it every single minute. They're not doing all these crazy layups. They're not sprinting and playing the hardest defense every single minute. And they're probably not even doing it every single game. In one game, they'll probably have one or two crazy highlight reels. And so when Mori hits those super high notes, that's equivalent to like, Michael Jordan dunking on someone. But he's not gonna dunk on someone every single game. <laughs> if you attempt to keep dunking on someone every single game, there's gonna be a game where you're gonna get hurt. And then what happens when you get hurt? You can't play for a whole season. Can't work. Can't work, Then people can't watch you. So, like, was it worth attempting to dunk on, on a player every single game? Just because you wanted to Never. please people or even show off. <laughs> to my to my defense, like there are times that parang okay, I'm just singing chill songs. Wala hahanapin ko parang yung bibirit ako. Kasi wala lang. That's my nature. What I'm just trying to do right now is I'm just being um, more selective. More selective and I know, parang just being a little more smarter with where and how I'm using my voice. Kasi yung parang it's not that I'm gonna stop biriting. It's just that I'm pick and choosing it now. We've had Wheels. people Wheels. attempt to get Mori for a show. For example, 10 songs. Can we get Mori for 10 songs? And, grabe guys, yung mga pinili nilang songs, lahat gusto ko ng bumitaw levels. And we're like, no. And sometimes we have to argue with these producers and people that are getting her for shows and say like, you guys literally were on YouTube looking at all of her best songs that she did all at different nights, different times, different months, and you want her to sing it all in the same night. No, that's not possible. Speaking of highlight reel, look at this reel. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Can I see it? Look. <laughs> it's also our responsibility to share about these things because some people also really don't know. Na ganun pala yung mga pinagdaanan ng mga certain tao. Well, so also... they speak up about it. And so we're just we're really just speaking up about it. We're not blaming people in specific, but I'm just shifting more to taking care of myself. I guess let's just put it at that. I don't think that's wrong because people just want to live. <laughs> All right, another topic. Oh, let's talk about next year. How is next year looking for you as my husband? I, you as a person? Since the pandemic, one of my goals was to just really level up my skills as a musician and producer. I am accomplishing that little by little every day. What were some of the songs that you worked on this year? as a producer, because I don't think people are aware that you actually produced other people's songs. 
I worked in a song for Marty, for which Marty. is called yeah. Water and Wine. Water, Water or Wine? Or... Yeah. There was all the From the Sea songs that I also did. Yeah, he did it. And I also produced a song for another underdog artist that we have. Her name is Adela. Yeah. And it's called Small there. World. Very beautiful song. It's a lullaby kind of song. I love it. I could keep listening to it over and over. <laughs> Galing ni Adela din. Super. A bunch of Mori songs that we'll be releasing next year. For next year. Woohoo! I worked on two other songs that haven't been released yet. Mm. I did another song for Bella Padilla. Oh yeah, that's right. No, <laughs> tell them about yeah. that. Well, one of Marty's friends uh, owns a cos cosmetic company. I think they're a cosmetic company. Which Bella is a partner of, and she also, I mean, it's her company, so she also endorses it, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, they approached Underdog and they were like, hey, like, can you guys help us with a song? But we don't want it to be a jingle. We want it to be an actual song. Bella already had some lyrics. And so we took some of the lyrics that she already had and Marty and I <laughs> wrote this song for them. So yeah, Which one? I was able to produce a couple of songs this year. And basically my goal for next year is to produce the most songs I've ever produced. Yeah! <laughs> I just want to keep making music, basically. <laughs> Helping other artists. I have my own songs that I'm working on as well. I'm working on more songs. Gonna be doing some more songs for Adela and Marty and, and whatever other artists. What about you? What is your year gonna look like? My year is gonna look like it's gonna be the last time you're gonna be hearing from me. Whoa! No, no, man. <laughs> well, I'm gonna feel like that. I have a vision for next year. And it is kind of a big, big vision if we've never done it, but we're gonna take the leap on doing it. I think we're gonna be touring next year. Like, uh, and this is like, a kind of, it's a tour na, I mean, I've been traveling a lot this year, but it's the kind of tour na parang, it's a concert that we're gonna be doing in the Philippines or in a place first and then going it around. And then I'm also gonna be putting out an album next year. Um, they already mentioned it. He is producing probably most of the songs, but we're also we also have some collaborations there, um, not just artists but also mga producers. So there's that. Mm, you gonna have to show them Mickey. Where's Walt? Oh, Walt is here. Walt is right here. I have to show them Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> hey, Mickey, you're so fun. So. Hopefully we can figure all of that out. Yeah, because we also don't know how we're gonna do all of that. But What's we're gonna- these pieces? Extra? No, no, extra from that. That's, I guess, some of the things that you can expect from us for next year. Sabi ko, technically it's only gonna be my 14th year next year. But I feel like it's also just as significant because I started when I was 14. And you don't have to wait till like you're in the number of fives, like 10, 15, 20, to celebrate something big, diba? Celebrate it now. If there's one thing I learned from the pandemic is just do it now. Mm -hmm. And then worry about the other things when you get there. No, it's this one, babe. So I guess to round it all off, we had a great, it has been a great year. It's been uh, an um, amazing year. For me personally, for Dave personally, for us as a couple, for Underdog, we had a blast just figuring things out and growing with everyone and we are looking forward to a great 2024 kobe kobe it's it's what's it called it's a it's a mamba year mamba year maganda <laughs> 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 new year's like post yun wag niyo nakawin or if you post it right you kami and si kobe of course it's gonna be mamba year Mamba year. Ooh, that's actually good. I feel the need to saying this also is that yes, there are the things that we are planning or like envisioning for next year, but there's also a lot of things that we can't control. A lot of surprises na as of this moment wala kaming kaalam alam that it'll just pop out out of nowhere. A lot of like the Disney stuff are like that. So That's actually another thing that I learned this this past year. What have y'all learned? You make your plans and then but if, be flexible. But be flexible because sometimes God will change your plans. 
Yep. That's and what if he likes to do. if you try to stick to your plans too much, then you miss out on something that's even more amazing that God has had perfect. planned for you. Had planned for you. That's just always been like my, I guess what is it? Mentality. Motto. About when some when things don't go my way, I'm just like, all right. You're Lord, flexible. What's next? What do you have up your sleeve? Yeah. And if there's one person I know in my life who's like that, it's really Dave. <laughs> you know, he's he's so he's so flexible. He literally is a person, like for me, the best example of walking in faith. He trusts the Lord and the Lord just ends up surprising him so much. So I just wanted to say that. It does me no good in like getting frustrated or depressed because my plans didn't turn out the way that I wanted to. But like, there's some things that I just can't control. It doesn't matter how great you plan, and maybe this is because of, I've done so many like video shoots and productions, and in the production world is you plan the best that you can, knowing that everything is gonna fall apart. <laughs> and you have to be able to pivot. <laughs> You have, to be, you have to be able to like troubleshoot and you can ask anyone that does Works concerts or movies or mm -hmm. shows like you do the best that you can to plan but in the back of your head you know that you're not going to be following the times you're going to be late at the last moment even though you've prepped all your cameras all of a sudden the camera's gonna like crash out on you and things mm -hmm. aren't gonna because work because it really and, does happen like those are just all the things that happen in in a production and so i guess that that was just one of my training grounds also is all right we're doing the best that we can to plan for the shoot but then all of a sudden the day comes and everything is just falling apart and you have to you have to continue to troubleshoot and just go with the flow because well that but he said i'm not know how to do that <laughs> if you're not flexible salute to everyone that did all these crazy productions also this past year and all the yeah. amazing concerts and stuff like that and everyone that that we worked with like thank you guys so much there's been so many amazing like creatives that we've worked with it's another level of just stress and excellence and the mentality and mindset that you have to have in order to pull off any kind of whether it's low budget high budget productions Mm -hmm. Like, my respect goes out to each and every one of you guys that put on amazing shows and concerts and movies and whatever that you guys did this year to put your art out. Thank you so much. Also, I just want to thank each and every one of you who has supported Morissette and myself and both of us together. Um, and thank you for your... Sorry. Touch screen. <laughs> yeah. This is giving a no. Sorry, sorry. Go. It's giving. <laughs> it's giving um from this E feels like home. That's right. Jason Max. Yeah. So yeah, basically I just wanted to thank each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank, thank you. you for even though we're not able to reply to every single one of your comments. But Dave sees we, them. Dave sees I, them. I, I, definitely see them just thank you for all the support that you guys have showed sometimes there's weeks and months where we're not able to upload stuff but it's because we're busy with other things <laughs> so thank you for also your just we're also like living our lives patience and yeah we're also traveling just as much as you guys are indeed <laughs> thank you thank you so much um, on behalf of the Lamars. Yeah, woof, woof. And we're gonna continue to create. Create and and make the best art that we can make while also balancing spending time with our dogs and each other and our friends and families and just trying to live as normal of a life as we can as well. Just basically enjoying our life. Just enjoying, enjoying life. Again, if it's not now, when? Thank you to our new subscribers also here on YouTube and everyone who's been, um, uh, again, supporting the stuff that we've been putting out, music, vlogs, videos, everything. Uh, we definitely will be trying our best to still keep up with posting. Even though we're gonna have a full year next year, we're gonna be trying to still put out a lot of different kinds of content. Cause like, oh, I, 
I'm not the vlogger kind of person, but I love traveling. And so might as well hit two stones with one bird. <laughs> Which is me. I'm the bird. I'm hitting a lot of stones. <laughs> I know a lot of people also have been like, Bakit to nami mix in one channel? It's like, why not? Just put it in one channel. And you can see everything else that's there. And also guys, there's playlists. And there's ways that Mori has very meticulously, meticulously organized the channel. So don't be lazy. <laughs> Look for the playlist. Look for the playlist. If you just want music, meron dun. Yeah, there's there's a music playlist. If you want a playlist and just play our vlogs in the background or whatever, there's also that. And we really do appreciate everyone who has been super supportive and um, patient also with us because I know just as much as the next person that Chepe like we just want more music we want more stuff coming out we're trying our best we're also just trying to enjoy the process and um, not pressure ourselves too much I hope each and every one of you guys dream crazy dreams for 2024 and you try to pursue them as hard as you can and if your dreams become reality then yay yay if they it's become cool. <laughs> a nightmare then i pray that you get through it and you come out stronger on the other side amen like we did this year also, yeah because there goodness. have been nightmares of days this year but we're still alive <laughs> koa you tell them if they don't won't listen what? to us maybe they'll listen to you what do you have to, to say koa you sing oh. Things and the underdog.